All right, so there are eight basic shapes to build off of in Maya. There's the cube, the plane, the cylinder, the sphere, the pyramid, the pipe, and the torus. Well, what's a torus? It's a donut. Uh, anyhow, these shapes, or primitives, are the basic building blocks for modeling pretty much everything. You can scale them any which way, extrude pieces of them, and join them together. So you have your model. What now? Well, how about textures? Textures wrap themselves all over your model, like a blanket, or more like a present. My eyeballs? Those are textures over spheres. Textures are really great because they make your model look like it's, you know, made of something. It's like the skin of your model. You can also do bump mapping, where you take a texture and you apply it as a bump map. This makes stuff look bumpy, like an apple or a pear. Mostly a pear. Check out that pear. <laughs> Pretty great, right? Textures also have their good buddies, shaders. Let's look at the three most common ones, the Lambert, the Blin, and the Fong. They're all named after the dude that invented them. Fongs look shiny and smooth. Blins look kind of metallic. And Lamberts look, uh, normal. Whichever one you use is really up to you and how you want your model to look. So you want your model to move. There are a lot of ways to do that. For one, there's rigid body animation. It's pretty simple. It's just a shape moving through space. So like 3D text flying at the screen is a rigid body animation. If you have a more complex model made out of different parts that are parented correctly, you can do some fairly complex things with rigid body. Well, more complex than text flying at you. Another way of making your stuff move is by giving it a skeleton. The skeleton of a model is called a rig. I'm technically a rigged model, but it's just my ears that are rigged. You know, with bones. You can also use inverse kinematics to make stuff move. It's pretty complicated stuff, but Maya makes it pretty easy. Oh my god, how is it still rendering? Holy crap, it's still freaking rendering. This is going to take for freaking ever. Every single time something happens, there's a keyframe there. Every single little red line in the scene is a keyframe. I had to use blend shapes to make the skies not be able to move. In the end, I think it was worth it, though the workflow was flawed. But still, I think my next movie will be even better than this. Let's hope. Well, that's what I got. There's some behind the scenes footage. Oh my god, how is it still rendering? Holy crap. It's still freaking rendering. Oh, this is taking forever. Oh my god. Let me die. It's still freaking rendering. Oh my god. It's still freaking rendering. Wow. I think, I think it turned out pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we go in here. We screen captured some of this so that it was easier.